We've been able to welcome more than 3,000 people here this week, and 100 different scholars, artists, writers, thinkers. The house has been really buzzing with what I like to call the participation in the world of ideas, which is what this place is about. And the Oliver you're going to meet in this particular conversation is probably not the one you can really find in the books too much. It's, it's the sort of the, the under Oliver. So one of the big questions that faces the field of music and cognitive neuroscience and music is why does the human brain respond so strongly to music? Were you an accident-prone baby chemist? Um, well, some of it was deliberate, but uh, I, th there were, of course, accidents, and especially when things burst into flame, I would run outside and throw them on the lawn. When you retrieve a memory, it's unstable in your brain. It's vulnerable. So in the laboratory, we can use it we can retrieve a memory and then hit it with a drug. She says that the human brain does not discriminate. Walk with me, love. Walk with me. I'm manipulating you now. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I am. Um, you're full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> look, look who I'm talking to. Yeah. We're calling it James Baldwin this time. Precisely what would. James Baldwin make of our time today and what would he demand of us? How would he read us today? In, in part, I think that his great artistry was his ability to transcend, really, some of the written form. But people who cannot suffer can never grow up, can never discover who they are. He doesn't write principally as a black person or as a gay person. What he writes principally as is an American. Think of what prison means in general, and then you think, is there anything that could possibly make this idea worse? Yes, the profit motive. Well, it's not preaching, you see. Why, why is it preaching to, to speak, uh, to, to do the right thing, to do, uh, to do good, to do the just thing, not even good? And I think one thing about uh, that arts and humanities groups can do is present some of these things, like, what do you think? Doing is not really relevant. However, um, how I am doing it is. What we see in the news, the PTSD, the suicide, people are afraid of them. So the divide between those communities and the military communities are so separate. Try to practice how to feel sad without actually being sad. Let's, let's think about that a minute. Not that easy to do.